Hi guys, welcome to today's video where we're diving into the world of seamless integration between NVRs and video management software or VMS. And I'll show you how this integration can transform your video civilian experience, offering you an unparalleled control and security. And don't let technical challenges hold you back. You can explore our solution page now through the link down in the description box below and empower your civilian capabilities like never before. So NVR, Network Video Recorder, is a specialized device that captures, records, and stores civilian footage from IP cameras and network sources. Its role is to serve as the central hub for recording video data, managing storage, and ensuring seamless access to recorded content. And VMS Video Management Software is a software application designed to manage and organize recorded civilian footage. It enables users to view, search, and analyze recorded videos from multiple cameras in a unified interface. And VMS provides tools for organizing footage by time date, location, or other criteria, making it easy to retrieve specific events. The integration of NVRs with VMS offers a host of compelling benefits that elevates the effectiveness and efficiency of video civilian system. Firstly, centralized control and monitoring become seamless as the integration enables users to access and manage multiple cameras from a single interface. Moreover, the integration introduces advanced analytics and real-time alert that enable proactive security measures. Another advantage lies in scalability and flexibility achieved through the integration. As civilian needs may grow or change, the integrated system can be easily expanded without the need for a complex configuration. So the integration of NVRs with VMS finds practical application across various sectors, demonstrating its versatility and impact on civilian, like home security and monitoring, retail and commercial spaces, industrial facility and critical infrastructure. And in each of these real-world applications, the integration of NVRs with VMS offer a comprehensive solution that goes beyond mere civilians transforming data into actionable insights and bolstering overall security measures. So behind me, we have a simple civilian setup and I'm going to show you how to use the VMS on the computer after we do the connection. First, let me introduce the components that we needed for the integration. Of course, we'll need an NVR system with compatible software. So over here, we have our 32-channel Dual Next NVR, which comes with the capacity to connect up to 32 IP security camera. And the dual Ethernet port ensures stable network connection between the NVR and the cameras, even when the cameras are confronted with temporary network outage, and also provide flexibility to connect to the network camera in case of network fell over and you can finish installation and searching for the video of the live monitoring or event playback using your mobile phone a web browser or the vms video management software conveniently and accessing to the nvr and the cameras whenever or wherever you are so done with the NVRs, now let's talk about the IP cameras that we are going to connect to the NVR. First one up here, we have the 5MPPoE Plus PDZ camera. This camera has 30 times optical zoom capability, endless 360 degree pan and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle, over an overall civilian coverage with 5 megapixel high resolution, and also equipped with human detection feature. And down here we have the 5 megapixel bullet camera with very focal lens, allows you to adjust the focal length manually, giving you the flexibility to zoom in and out as needed. Not only could with human detection, it also has the vehicle detection features. And out there we have the AMP Doom Shape camera with very focal lens from 6mm to 22mm, allow you to easily customize your field of view. 
This small camera is an 8MP zoom camera with 4mm fixed lens. It can provide a wider field of view and capture a larger area, offer ultra high definition video with precise clarity. And those two are designed in a dome shape, offer an inconspicuous civilian solution. So now enough saying, let's do the connection together. So first I'm going to use the short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR. And then I'm going to use another Ethernet cable here to connect the router to our WebSmart PoE switch. This switch utilizes PoE technology which can provide both power and data to connected devices. Now I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cable. So let's come over to the edge. I'm going to just plug in two camera which is the bullet camera and this 8MP very focal camera. So now they're both getting power and data at the same time. Just wait for a few seconds for both camera to display on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. Now I'm going to show you how to install the VMS on your computer. So in order to connect our NVR to the VMS, we need to make sure the NVR is online. So it's already connected to the internet. Now we need to find the serial number. Let's go to the main menu and advanced. We have the version. This is where we can find the serial number. And we'll need this in order to connect to the VMS. Now let's move on to the computer and do the connection. So this is the link where we can download the VMS. Let's copy it and paste it. We can see all the Chinese and English. Here we have click to download. Let's click on it and it will download the file. And let's wait for it. And then we are going to open it up here, open, and unzip it since this is a zip file. Double click it. Just hit yes. Now we can choose the language. Let's hit English. This is the setup page. Hit next and you can browse it and install it anywhere on your computer. Hit next and wait for it to download. And just hit finish. And make sure you hit add device, add devices manually. Okay, this is the device manager and we are going to add our VMS. The device name, we are going to plug in the serial number. Default group and over here, let's put cloud ID. For the cloud ID is also the name of our STKP, this is the name and plug in our password of our NVR and hit OK. Now we need a little bit time for it to connect together. As you can see, it's already connected and we have two connections. So let's go back to home. Wait, let me enlarge it. Go to home, monitor, We're going to choose extra stream for each camera because this is not the mainstream. We're using the extra stream. As you can see, this is our live video. You can actually see my hand waving. 
in the computer. Next, I'm going to show you the playback features where we go back to home under playback. We can select the camera. And this is where we can find the day and the time and also we can look at the color bar where we have motion detection alert. Let's go back to July 12 because I think this is where we have recorded footage. Here we go. And let's double click it. And we can view the playback on our computer. And we, you, when you want to view the next one, make sure you hit pause and stop it. And then you hit on the next video. And we have all the record type on here, regular, motion alarm, regular, or you can just choose it here in order to view what you want to see. Just like this. And now we have all the motion alarm video. Let's click on it. And let's go back to home. We can also set the record settings. And the alarm configuration. We have motion detection, human detection, and also face detection. Let's check out the features. This is the alarm info. When a human pass by or something is moving, the alarm will turn on. And also you can see it on the right side here. We can double click it to come to this page. And we can also clear the list. This is the playback. This is the device configuration. We can also set the IPC Select the camera that you want, go to IBC, and we can set the image, the lighting, and call, which is the compression, the resolution, and the quality. We can actually do everything here on your computer. And also the alarm, we have video blind. If someone is blinding your camera, you can enable it, and then it will turn on the alarm. And that's pretty much it. And you can also explore it on yourself when you download a VMS. And there you have it, folks. Integrating your NVR with VMS isn't just about convenience. It's about empowering yourself with top-notch security. And I hope you're feeling excited to give this a try. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your fellow security enthusiasts. And of course, subscribe to our channel, Fast Cabling, for more tech-savvy content. And thank you very much for watching. And until next time, stay secure.